Hey guys, Bray Shadow here, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Xbox Live's uh, new free-to-play tile, Happy Wars. Um, looks poopy. Uh, Xbox Live is kind of late on the whole, you know, here's a free-to-play game kind of, you know, ish. So, another thing I want to talk about is Dust by 14 now. The people who've played it, I want to know your honest opinion. It it feels like it's lacking something. It's like it's almost there, but it's still lacking something. And currently my problems with this game are sensitivity. Like, you're like sitting there, you're like running, uh, and then you turn like this. It's like, wait a minute. You know, you go in the settings, and you're like, all right, let's turn the sensitivity all the way up. And it's just like, all right, I'm running, I'm running, go turn. You're still really slow. And it's like, um, okay. So hopefully the devs behind uh, Dust 514 can fix that. Also, another thing is it's too much of a hassle to actually start a voice chat with somebody, like to actually start a party. Um, now, if you don't know this, in order to add somebody to your you know little list of people to actually voice chat you don't add their PSN IDs what you do is when you're setting up your character like creating it you give it a name so you have to use that name so say you know me and my friend nameless we're playing he creates his character I create mine so we both have a name mine is a uh, Ventus Nexus I forgot no in his character his name is just nameless so I'm like, all right, you know, maybe I can just, you know, send you an invite and then it would just work like that and then you could just go in, right? But no, I have to search up his characters, not his username, not his PSN ID, but his character's name to invite him into the party. I feel like it should be very easy and just be like, hey, you know, since you're already on my friends list, I can just add you or it'll show like all my friends on my friends list and show which ones are on the Dust 514 thing and then I can like invite other people stuff like that cuz it makes it a real big hassle and then once once we get in there and we're both in the same like little lobby and we try talking to each other it it doesn't work and I don't know what it is I checked my uh Mike he checked his they both worked also there's like this toggle thing where you can either toggle it where you're uh, mic will be used as like a walkie-talkie so you have to hold a button to talk and then you can turn that off where you can just talk all the time and it's not like a walkie-talkie thing well getting that whole thing to set up actually took like 28 minutes maybe a little bit more but it took a while for us to get like onto that and by the time we were so frustrated with how complicated they made it that we really didn't want to play the game. I feel like Dust 514 needs to have more smooth, you know, interface that isn't so complicated. Like it's like they're trying to they're trying to make it this really awesome complicated economy game. It's just like people play games, you know, it's a fast-paced world, you know. We want to play it, pick it up, play it, go. But here it's like you pick it up, you play it, you gotta set this up, set that up, choose, you know, this, this, and that, and then it doesn't even stop there. You know, you have to do this to be in a squad, you know, you have to have this and that, and it's just like, all right, chill out, man. It's if you're gonna add all these options, at least make it easy to do. So with that with saying that, it's like other free-to-play games that are on the PlayStation, uh DC Universe Online. <laughs> that, that that is amazing like it's good um i have no complaints about it the only one complaint about it is the download time boy does it take forever to install oh man it takes forever um but besides that it's good um free to play games coming to the vita um what is it? Fantasy Star Online 2. That looks good. And the other one is another JRPG. Uh, Picto Knights or whatever. That looks fun to play as well. So, you know, with all these free-to-play titles, it's like they need more polishing. Except for, like, the ones neither I haven't played yet 
or you know DC Universe where it's like you can't really polish how long it's going to download. That just depends on your internet and all the other stuff you're going to have to download. So Xbox coming into this whole like free to play thing, it's like you're a little late on that. So I I don't have an Xbox. I used to. Um, the only one I uh, the only reason actually the only two reasons I would even want an Xbox is one Halo, two play Skyrim without any freaking lag. Oh my gosh. Bethesda can suck my balls, like big time. They can suck my cojones because that is a whole bunch of BS. Like if you wanna ask me, I think it's legitimate. I think Microsoft is like paying them under the table, just be like, hey, make this crappy game, you know, port it crappy, and then they'll bring more people over here because they're gonna to wanna to play it without any lag. Yeah, just do that, develop it for us make it perfect for us and then you know when you port it over just don't even worry about it man don't even worry about it any problems you have just we got you we got you, you know just here's the here's the money um yeah uh, so i'm running out of time again shadow out please comment rate and subscribe if you haven't or if you're already subscribed please tell your friends um friends family whatever co-workers tell them about me and tell them to do the same comment like rate and subscribe so i'll see you guys later ciao